I'm back. I finally need to make another video. I uh, kind of got busy after school and I owe some folks some videos. Let's talk about school. Let's talk about what I've been up to. Last video was made, oh, when was it? I don't even know. I'll, I'll put when the last video was made, like right here, the date. Since then, I haven't made any videos and there's a reason for it. I've been uh, super busy, actually. It's been good. So I owe you guys a video sitting out here in my trailer before it gets too hot. I got home from school and started getting to work. Put out some Facebook ads and got my business listed on Google. Salty Vet RV Services. Kind of goes with the Salty Vet Adventures. So I got, I got home. I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out. So school, was it worth it? Stick around, I'll tell you in a second. Um, if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to make more videos. So they got some big news for our family coming up. All right, so was school worth it? Yep, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, I got done with school, oh, I don't know when I got home, February, late February, something like that. So I started getting my business all put together and put some ads out, got on Google, Facebook, and it was still cold here in Utah. It wasn't quite RV season yet, so things were pretty slow. But then about April, things started kicking up and uh, it's now July and I had to take this week off. I'm not working this week. I'm telling everybody I'm booked out three weeks, got other things going on. Uh, just getting stuff done around the house that's been ignored. Yes, I've been ignoring my chores around the house. Mister, you are grounded. And no TV. So the reason for that is because in April, things started getting a little crazy as far as the RV business started picking up. People started finding me on Google. And uh, pretty much if I wanted to, I could be busy every day of the week, all day, if I really wanted to schedule out like that. Um, and I got into this because I love RVing and I love fixing RVs and that's what I want to do. I don't know if I want to run myself ragged either, so I've, I've got to find that sweet spot. Starting in April, things started getting kind of crazy. By May, it was just nuts phone was ringing. I was done with jobs at the end of the day. I was spending time, spending an hour or two just uh, responding to messages and texts. <sighs> I know. So you want to know, was school worth it? Yes, school was worth it. Does it prepare you for everything you need to know to start your own business? No. No, it does not. Does it help you? Oh, of course. Absolutely. Let's go a little walk about here. School gives you the confidence to get out there and repair RVs. If you are not a type of person that can figure out problems on the fly, that um, taking things apart and seeing how they work, if that's not for you, then you probably wanna go start working with a shop first. I think actually I would have benefited working um, in a repair center or a shop. You get a lot more experience and you have people there to help you out. Okay, that doesn't mean that school isn't worth it and you shouldn't do it. I loved it. It gave me the confidence to get out there and do it on my own. Um, it taught me the basics, but here's the thing. And, and this isn't ragging on the NRVTA at all, I promise. But they can only do so much in a week of solar training. When you have 20 something people and you're doing two solar installs all within four or five days, basically four days. I would like to see more design. I think, I think Focusing more on designing systems and how they work would be beneficial versus jumping in and just installing stuff, um, installing systems for me. I think the solar class at the NRVTA could easily be two to three weeks long to focus more on how everything works and designing systems and different types of systems and different types of RVs. Even three weeks might not be enough if you really get into depth. Get into depth, go in depth. Yeah, whatever that is. So week one fundamentals. If you are an avid RVer and want to learn to do a lot of stuff yourself because you know your RV is gonna break because it's gonna break because they're all made like crap. The brand doesn't matter. RV fundamentals is amazing. If you already know a lot about your RV and you know a lot about the systems and you already work a lot on it or you already tinker around a lot with it, you might know a lot of the stuff, but RV fundamentals 100% worth it for the um, average RVer. As a matter of fact, I think manufacturers or uh, 
dealers or whatever would do well to include the week or at least a home class with every RV they sell. And if you can get there in person, even better. Um, so there, that covers week one fundamentals. Basically, I feel if you own an RV, you should be going to the week one fundamentals or at the very least getting the home class. So 100% on board with that. So you're probably wondering how I've been doing. And I know this video has been rambling and uh, I've kind of been all over the place. Hopefully in editing, I'll make it make a little more sense. I'll be, I'll be completely honest with you with how I've done. I haven't run a lot of reports or done any of that stuff, but uh, I use Square and I have a Square checking account. So everything's all tied into Square. So it's easy to run reports, see where I'm at. So my business really took off starting April and it is now July. And you want me to be completely honest with you? I don't know my net as of now, but my gross so far since April to July, I so April, May, June, and July, and it's like July 20th right now or something like that. I have grossed close to fifty thousand dollars for a few months of work, and I don't know, I've been I've been working, but it's awesome because I get to do what I want with my family. I don't want to work that day. I don't like this week. I'm off all week. I said I'm not working this week. I'm not hiding my numbers. I've grossed well over 50,000 in the last few months since April. All the money that I've made, none of it has gone to my personal anything. It's all stayed in my work account. So yeah, all the money I've made has either stayed in the business or gone into our RV for work purposes since we use it to travel and do work things. I don't have any other reports other than that. When tax time comes around, I'll, my accountant will figure out a lot more stuff. Anyway, NRVTA, worth it. Are there things that they can improve on? Sure, and I'm sure they know that, and I'm sure they're working on it. Solar could easily be three weeks long with more focus on design. This is such a rambly video. I'll put out more details. Um, ask your questions in the comments below. I know people have been wanting to know how things are going. From now until August, we're gonna be kind of getting ready for a wedding, so it's gonna be a little chaotic, and I think I'm kind of winding my business down a little bit temporarily. I'm not making appointments uh, very far out anymore. Um, I've also thought of, I think I wanna do more solar. I wanna focus on solar, it's fun. Or general handyman stuff, like I said, doing vents, uh, roof work, it's all easy. I mean, it's when it's 100 degrees outside and it's 130 degrees on a roof, it's not easy, but it's not anything cosmic and people need that stuff fixed. Yeah, I'm trying to niche down a little bit. I don't know if I want to be the appliance guy. Black tanks. No, God, please, no, no! Thanks about it, man. I'll make some more videos. Let me know what you think in the comments below, what you want to hear more about.